guys, so today we're talking about my most used makeup for the month of August. I don't know why, but I almost said March. I do make beauty videos throughout the week, so make sure you hit that notification bell and subscription button if you want to be notified when I upload. And we're not going to waste any time because I have so many products to share with you. So let's get started. You need to check out the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powders. There are four different shades of this highlighter. My favorite shade from this Mega Glow Highlighting line is the Bloom Time Highlighter. It has a little bit of a peachy pink undertone and it looks really intense in the pan, but it actually blends out into a beautiful golden peachy highlight. I am wearing this highlighter today and you can see it has just a little bit of a pink tint to my cheeks, but it blends perfectly into the blush that I'm wearing. If you want this highlighter to stay on, I would suggest wearing some type of primer underneath your makeup or... Um, even like a setting spray. This does not have to be an intense highlighter. It really blends out to be a soft, natural glow on your cheeks. And it just depends on what you prefer in your makeup look and what you're trying to achieve. Something I've noticed is that the glitter in this never gets splotchy or um, patchy on my skin. I'm able to achieve the same wet looking skin effect that I get with my Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. With this highlighter, it has to be worked out a little bit more, but I get the same look with it, and this is literally $5. $5.49 to be exact. This highlighter is perfect for beginners. If you were looking for a cheap highlighter that will do the job for you, go pick this up at your Ulta, Walmart, Target. This is literally anywhere. This is the Morphe M310 highlighting brush. This is a must-have brush for your collection if you're looking for a reliable highlighting brush. I'm just going to show you how beautiful and precise this highlighting brush is. Exactly where I wanted it. It is so precise. This is really great with either pressed powders or loose powder highlights. The body of this brush allows the highlight to be built up to be an intense highlighter or it can be just a soft, natural type of highlight. This is extremely cheap. I believe this is $7 and I picked it up at Ulta. Since we are on the topic of highlighters, I may as well talk about the Juvia's Loose Powder Highlights. I don't want to spend too much time on these because I did do a whole video reviewing these. My two favorite colors in the Juvia's Place highlighters are Never, Never, Te Never Eaty. Never say it. This one is a little bit more of a, like a champagne golden one. And then my other shade that I am obsessed with is in Clio. I would say Clio is definitely my favorite um, shade out of all of them. These highlighters do emphasize a little bit of texture if you build them up to be too intense. But for a loose powder highlight, I really, really love these. These Juvia's Place highlighters are definitely comparable to the Ars Couture Diamond Glow Powders. These highlighters are 14 a piece and the Ars Couture is 27. I've always had the impression that loose powder highlights were really hard to work with and just not the best for beginners. But the more I get to use them, the more I find that I really, really enjoy them. I am totally on board with the loose powder highlights right now. Um, those of you who might struggle with texture or large pores really should give it a try. Moving on, we need to stop talking about highlights because we know I have been obsessed with them and we just need to move on. I am totally into the affordable concealers right now. I've been really exploring a lot of brands. This is the NYX Can Stop, Won't Stop concealer in the shade true beige this has a matte finish so i would recommend blending out immediately i use one of my sponges to blend it out um, for more of a natural look if you want more of a full cover um, type of look try a brush i prefer the sponge i feel like it looks a little bit more natural and i still get the coverage that i want um so i would recommend using a sponge to blend this out you get a really brightened poreless appearance on your skin um, with this concealer. This is my summer shade, so it's a little bit too dark for me right now So I mix it in with my ColourPop no filter concealer. This does remind me a little bit of the banana Brightening powders that you get. Um, obviously this isn't a powder, but it gives me the same effect that I like for that brightened appearance This also is a really great eyeshadow base um, because of the matte formula in this pick one of these up and try them It's a little bit of a chore trying to find the right color but they have a really great color selection and I have been really loving this concealer. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in Desert Beige has been one of my most reliable foundations that I own. I've been testing out a lot of new makeup recently and I needed to have a foundation that I know I can rely on and fall back on and know that it won't irritate my skin. And this has been the foundation that I have been falling back on a lot recently um, just because I know my skin will not despise this foundation and react and give me rashes and bumps and texture. 
This is a very runny and liquidy foundation, but once you blend it out onto your skin, it will stay in place, like it says on the bottle. If you're looking for more of a natural finish, I would say go in with a sponge. That is the way that I prefer to apply this foundation. But if you want more of a full coverage effect on your skin, um, just go in with a brush, um, a dense brush. Um, I've just fallen back in love with it. It's It's been my old reliable. This is the best face primer I've ever used. It is intended to be a face oil, but I love using this as a base for my makeup. This is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. This is beautiful on its own. You don't have to wear makeup when you wear this. In fact, you don't have to wear makeup at all. This face oil really grips your makeup in place so that it lasts the entire day, but it also gives you a really beautiful glow. I've noticed how this face oil really prolongs my makeup and it prevents my oil from peeking through the foundation. The foundation that I'm wearing today is the Wet n Wild where is it yeah the wet n wild uh photo focus stick foundation um i wore these two today and i just i love how my skin looks and it's mainly because of this primer right here um this foundation is great as well but it's not what i've been wearing all month i definitely been wearing the estee lauder double wear foundation all month but I'm getting off topic here. So it's actually very similar to the No Pourable Touch and Soul Primer. Very similar packaging, um, similar effect on my skin, except the Touch and Soul is a clear skincare type of item, and this has more of the illuminating effect on your skin. It has a very, very tiny sparkles throughout this formula, and it's a little bit more of like a rose quartz type of pink. I have to make sure that this absorbs completely into my skin, otherwise it won't have the same effect. I have desperately needed to change up my eyebrow routine. Um, I have been stuck on the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the ColourPop Brow Wash Gel, and once I have found a routine that really works for my eyebrows, I tend to stick with it for a while because I'm afraid to change it up. Eyebrows have always been such an issue with me because I've never really figured out how to do them on my own. I used to get really intense in my eyebrows. In fact, if you look at my earlier videos, my eyebrows were crazy. <laughs> I feel like I have definitely figured out how to do my eyebrows um, a little bit more naturally and a little bit more suited for my face shape and everything. I feel like I finally figured it out. So it took me a long time to finally get out of my comfort zone with my eyebrow products and explore. This is the Benefit Cabrow Cream Gel Brow Pomade in 3.5. This has been my favorite go-to product to use when I want to take the time to really sculpt out my eyebrows. This is really easy to blend out if you make a mistake. I make so many mistakes when I do my eyebrows, but it has like a little brush in here and you just pull it out and use that to sculpt your eyebrows. This looks like it's really, really tiny. Like you just get a little bit of product right there, but it actually has been lasting me quite a while. You don't have to spend forever on this, but I have really been taking the time to figure out my eyebrows recently. It's been a struggle bus. It really has. I would suggest some type of setting brow gel. Um, my favorite right now is the ColourPop Brow Wash Gel. This has been a long time that this has been my favorite, but the two work really well together and this is really, really, really cheap. This is a little bit more expensive, but I do think that it is worth it. I'd like to find a more affordable brow gel that works. I've just been very, very hesitant to try drugstore pomades because they don't look very promising. If you have found a brow gel from the drugstore that is really, really nice, um, let me know because I am very hesitant to try them. Hello. All right, I love you. Love you. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. You get a cold, wet feeling on your skin when you use this because it's half water and half glycerin. It makes my skin look powderless and it blends all my concealer, my foundation, my highlighter, everything it just melts together and it looks like a second skin. This isn't the type of powder that will make your makeup last longer. You definitely need something to go in on top of this, but this just blends everything together. I would say this is very similar to a setting spray. It's just, this is in powder form. I don't really have any lip products to mention that I have been wearing a lot. Um, today I'm wearing the ColourPop Matte Lip in Speed Dial and then the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss as the topper. Um, I've definitely been into the lip glosses. There's just not anything new that I have been loving this month as far as lip products are concerned. But the last item that I want to talk to you guys is a mascara. I have never been impressed with Tarte Cosmetics really 
that much, but this new mascara is amazing. I can go layer on top of layer and this mascara doesn't get thick or cakey. I love the thick shape of this wand. It makes it really easy to grab onto several eyelashes at once. So it's really quick and easy to apply. I love the packaging on this. This bright pink is just I love it. It's my life. I do like how this lifts up my eyelashes and makes them look long and volumized and thick, but not cakey. I am wearing this mascara underneath these lashes. I'm actually trying the On Fleek box. Um, it's like a lash subscription because I have been loving lashes recently. Um, the lashes that I'm wearing today are in the shade, or shade, are in the um, style Princess. This one right here, it's gone because I have them on my eyes. I don't know if I want to continue with this subscription. Um, I don't know. These were a little bit too, whew, for me. I think I need something a little bit more natural. But anyway, that's off topic once again. Oh, I'm going on so many rabbit trails today. The Taka Maya Hair Fragrance has been a go-to recently. I've been using a lot of dry shampoo and this has just been, make it smell a little bit more pleasant. I like the aroma of the black iris, the black currant seed oil in this. Um, there's also black currant seed oil in this primer, so apparently I have a thing for black currant seed oil. Um, I've been trying out the new brand Glasses USA. Um, I always find them on Pinterest and I'm just intrigued by them. I just want to try and see how their glasses look. I feel like I look like a business type of person when I wear this. My favorite ones have been this pair right here with the tortoise shell. These are so cute. I love these so much. So yeah, I've been trying out a new glasses brand, trying to get away from my gold rim glasses a little bit because they are literally the only things that I ever wear. I like wearing my Ruli um, blue light glasses. Those are nice, but I do like these. I think they're a little bit more different than those other two that I have. Just changing things up a little bit. I do like these glasses a lot. That was really loud. I also have been loving these pearl clips. Um, I have these two, these two world school ones. I got those from Ross like ages ago. A lot of you have noticed that I've been wearing these and I wanted to mention um, that I did get these from TJ Maxx and I believe there are still a couple available. The price tag down here says $7.97. So pretty cheap, not very expensive at all. Um, I just, I like the big bulky pearls on this it's fun to pair with like a simple outfit and it just brings everything together i really do like this hair clip trend right now um i think it's cute and feminine and fun so i just want to mention these because a lot of you mentioned that you really liked these and i have been wearing these a lot so definitely had to include these in this video the last thing that i want to talk to you guys about is actually these insert bangs i have been really really loving insert bangs the color is literally perfect for my hair and I love bangs right now, but I don't ever want to have to commit to them because I don't feel like I would look as good with them with my own hair. So I've been really, really liking these. Um, I've gotten so many comments about these. So no, I did not actually get a haircut. This is just insert bangs and I really, really like them. Um, sometimes I have to play around with it to make them work. Um, especially when I need to get my roots touched up, but I really like them. They're fun. You can mix up your look. I like that about these. I know it's different, definitely stepping out of my comfort zone, but I have been all into trying new things and I like these bangs. I like them. So if you want to grab yourself some insert bangs, go check out the Zoe bangs from insert name here. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. I had lots and lots of fun things in this video. Been testing out a lot of new things, trying to really expand, test my limits, explore, step out of my comfort zone this month. And I have been really excited with the things that I found. A lot of affordable makeup in this video. I hope that you guys found this helpful for you. Um, I know that I have been enjoying all this makeup so much this month. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!